five prime to three prime. Okay, and so now this DNA primase. will lay down a prime. Five prime to three prime. Okay? The primase? The primase. Primase is the enzyme that makes the primer. What is that primer made of? RNA. RNA. So you can also call it an RNA primase as well. But it's a DNA primase. Because DNA primase creates RNA primers. Yes. DNA primase makes RNA primer. And this um, facilitates um, DNA nucleotide attachment. facilitates DNA nucleotide attachment. Why is that? Because what's coming in next? DNA polymerase 3. Okay, so you have your DNA polymerase 3. Just going to start bringing in DNA. Now, we're talking about the leading strand here, right? So this one here is the leading strand. And this one here is the lagging strand. Okay. So we have these DNA nucleotides that are joining this ever-growing um, uh, not simple, but DNA nucleotide um, molecule is growing. It's going from five prime to three prime. It can do this continuously. Why? Because this DNA helicase is unwinding in this direction. So it's constantly opening up area of that template for it to do. Now, we know that because of the rules, it has to go five prime to three prime, right? So on our Latin strand, I cannot build this way because I'm going to end up with um, all this DNA that should have been uh, copied. It's not going to get copied. So this um, primase has to put down a primer, right? So it's going from five prime to three prime. So we have primer, put down by the primate, right? And then we have DNA put down by the DNA polymerase, right? Huh? We have the primase put down the primer, just like it did here, one five prime, three prime. The uh, polymerase is putting down DNA, right? So once it does that, then it has to go back this way, and then we put down our primer. And then we put down I'm going to anyway. And it keeps going back, right? until it's done. But the thing is, we have these gaps. Now, these segments of DNA, what are they called? Okazaki fragments. These are Okazaki fragments being made. And so this can continue on going following the DNA helicase <coughs> as we go along. So what happens when these Okazaki fragments are all made down here? 
So take them right now. fragment and then say I have another orthography fragment there it could be made and I have another one here it could be made they're not connected right so they're not finished what has to happen now okay but what happened before that before that you get DNA polymerase number one. DNA polymerase number one. We'll go through here and get rid of that primer. That primer is made up of RNA. So it gets rid of that primer and lays down new DNA. Now, DNA ligase DNA ligase will come down here and roll them together. So now they are now continuous. Okay? DNA ligase also that type DNA ligase as well, but um, DNA one also goes through here and get rid of that and turn that into DNA. So the polymerase one uh -huh. that replaces your RNA with DNA yes. nucleus or just DNA? Nucleotide. And then your osaki fragments are joined with DNA ligase. Yes. The DNA ligase will then come through, joining them together, and making one continuous piece of DNA. Are you writing down with that? Huh? Are you going to write it down with that? Can you even read what I'm writing down? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Okay. So, let me remember what I'm saying. Primate makes a primer. DNA. Lays down new nucleotides. And this occurs on uh, both lagging 
and beating Fran. But with the leading strand only once. This is multiple times. Okay, and the reason why it's multiple times is because it's doing this in multiple times as those multiple doctor fragments are being laid down. The DNA polymer is one, only needs to come through once on here, right? There's only one primer. Here you have multiple primers that need to be getting rid of. And then your DNA ligase binds open top E fragment together. And then after that is complete, then you have two complete copies of the DNA. Where does that part fit in? What part? And the ligase binds the open box. Right here. After I have, after these open box fragments have been made, the DNA polymerase one comes through and gets rid of the primer, right? Making a full set of DNA that have to be joined together because they are separate, right? The DNA ligase comes in and joins them together to make one continuous strand. That's the very last thing that happens. That's the very last thing that happens. And then after it completes, then you have your... Yeah, the DNA ligase is only working on the lagging strand, not the leading strand. There's no need for ligase there. Unless there is a DNA repair due to mutation. And we'll talk about that later on. Sorry, why does it say right under both? Under what? Under, under. Both lagging strand and lagging, multiple times and leading strand. Lagging and leading strand. Okay. This um, DNA polymerase one, where it removes the primer and then lays down new uh, nucleotides, that happens on both of them. It happens here with DNA polymerase one, but it only happens once. It happens here, but it happens multiple times because there's multiple pieces of primase that have to be gotten rid of. We're really confused? No? Okay, so um, after it completes, then you have your DNA. Then you have your DNA. You can go ahead and separate and become daughter cells. And live your life. Okay. You have three minutes. I got three minutes? Yeah. Okay, well, at least we got to what? Number five. So next time we will talk about the um, process of prokaryotic transcription from DNA to RNA, and we'll talk about processing of eukaryotic mRNA, because that's different than prokaryotic, right? Then we'll talk about the uh, process of translation, and then we will go into lac operon and the trip operon, then we will describe the outcomes of the different types of mutations. Um, Horizontal genetic transfer as far as transformation, which we're actually doing in the lab, uh, transduction, and then conjugation.